For those of us in the world of bereavement, this week is Awareness Week, organised by Dying Matters. And awareness is the one thing that most people never want to have around death, because there's a magical thinking that if I don't think about it, if I don't even put my mind in that direction, maybe this isn't going to happen to me. So through Awareness Week, we are thinking about what can you do because death does happen. And one of the most common things that bereaved people say to me is, everybody says to me, I don't know what to say. And often they stop talking about the person that has died. They don't mention his name for fear they're going to upset me. And so what I would like you to do, if you're a friend of someone who is bereaved, is to find the words to say that you're sorry that this has happened to them. It is very simple. There aren't any magic words, you can't fix it, but you can acknowledge that they love and still miss the person that has died. And let them talk about the person that has died, raise their name. If they talk about that person, really listen. But if they choose not to, obviously don't force them. At the other end of the spectrum, if you're thinking of people who are dying, who may be relations or friends or work colleagues, often everybody says when they're very, very ill, and everybody at some level knows that they're going to die, medicine's amazing, you must always have hope, in the belief that if we have hope, then that is a way of fighting death, and that somehow giving up hope is giving up on life. And of course we do need hope when we're very ill, but it doesn't mean that we're giving up on it. And one of the key phrases I use with people that are dying is what your worries, what's on your mind. And so if they choose to talk to me about their dying, that they're worried, they're, they're fearful they're going to be in pain, they're fearful that those around them aren't going to be able to cope and no one will talk to them about it, they can tell me. But really they need to be telling those closest to them, their family members. Because those that are prepared through talking to the person that's dying do fare much better because there won't be regrets and there won't be so many unanswered questions. Of course you'll grieve, but you may not be derailed by your grief because you won't have any regrets and you um, will feel supported by the person that you love who has died. Thank you. Bye.